glistened in the shop window. A music box with the most beautiful decoration. But opening and closing the delicate lid to hear what was inside was just too tempting. A great man once worked here. Part philosopher, part engineer. His radical new ideas changed the course of history forever. Let's find out what this has to do with anything. The sign said, do not touch. It took five months and two lots of pocket money to buy such a beautiful music box. Only fair that it should spend a little time in each person's house. All the invitations beautifully handwritten and sealed. We would be delighted if you could attend our special day. Please RSVP. Let's hope everyone can make it. Every single invitation replied to, and with the same answer, yes. We've received an email today from the board of directors. It seems that I'm going to have to submit a report on my findings and treatment progress so far. Funding really is the last thing we need to worry about right now. I used the engagement train a couple hours ago, and my patient is still smiling from ear to ear. I really feel like there's a huge well of emotion trapped away inside, and if I can just find the right item to release it, then this will all be of value. I think I may be able to use this patient as a case study, an example of how effective this treatment really is. The mind can be like a blank canvas, or a picture can be left incomplete for a generation, only to be finished years later in life. The blacksmith was a vital part of the British town for a very long time. With industries growing and taking over, they had to find other ways to survive and remain in trade. This particular smith became well known for his sculpting and other decorative metal work. But apparently he became a recluse after the industrial decline, destroyed all of his work. If an artist's tools are kept sharpened, any memory can be etched in stone. Even in the 
darkness, new memories can be painted into our lives. Sometimes we find old ones we forgot where we were left. That crow would have died for sure if it was just left there. That first night, it had left and panicked for hours. But by the morning, it felt calm and safe. wise words of a father. If you love something, set it free. about her brain. 
I'll be monitoring it on my end to ensure that no severe damage is caused during your visit. Did I ever tell you about an odd colleague of mine who experimented with brain cell transplants? Taking them from one memory and surgically implanting them into another. An attempt to reconfigure their minds, he said. Fascinating stuff, really. Imagine what we could do with that level of scientific freedom. Another one. You're really doing a very good job, Restorer. Although I should mention, the board are going to be monitoring our progress tonight. So failure to retrieve the artifact is simply not an option. Please remain focused in there, Restorer. I can't stress to you how much I'm relying on you to succeed. I've been let down far too many times for four, and I won't stand for it again. What? Yes, I asked you half an hour ago. No, I want you to inject it now. I don't care. They have clearly stated the procedure's intention, so do as I ask. <laughs> Sorry about that. I need to go and sort out an incompetent individual, as per usual. I'll be back shortly. Hello, Dr. Edmund speaking. No, everything is coming along as expected. He's showing some good progress. I know, but... Yes, I understand. I'll send the results as soon as possible. That was observations. The board are expecting results soon. We simply can't miss this deadline. There should only be one more memory fragment in this area that we need to find. Please don't let me down like the others did. Remember, Restorer, I will not let you project back to the real world until our goal is reached. Don't worry about what's happening on my end. I'll make sure you're safe. As long as you help me, I'll help you. And we'll get through this in one piece. Now, when you're ready... Hello? I don't think anyone's here. Hello? Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. But I guess you need this. I don't know. Hey, how you holding up? I, uh, I, I got the message. You don't sound yourself when you're in there. I still can't shake this feeling that this, this whole thing is a bad idea. 
But I guess you need this. I don't know. was the oldest brother and the most mischievous by far. Rob usually did whatever he was told and Harry was too young to argue back. Did you ever hear the story of the knocker? Andrew asked in a sinister tone. The knocker? His brothers replied, looking at Andrew skeptically. Yes, it lives in the mine past the dock. Legend has it that an old man went into the mine once looking for his dog, and some strange crystal in there changed him. Changed him into what? Rob inquired, already. Andrew was the oldest brother and the most mischievous by far. your skin and leaves nothing but your bones, Andrew said with a sinister tone in his voice. That's rubbish, said Rob, sounding... How come you're not leaving footprints in the snow? 